What defines a premium mechanical keyboard? Is it the build, the simplicity of the design, features like RGB lighting, programmable macros, the switch type? I think it's safe to say that we all have our preferences when it comes to mechanical keyboards. Some may not like having RGB lighting. Some may want pretty much everything that they could on a mechanical keyboard. Some may just prefer a simpler and cleaner looking keyboard that can just get the job done. For instance, take this Corsair K95 Platinum mechanical keyboard. I was fortunate enough to test it out and you can check out my full review over here. But to sum it up, it was Corsair's best offering that came with all the bells and whistles like RGB lighting, programmable macros, dedicated media playback buttons, detachable wrist rest, and a faster switch that I fell in love with instantly, all for $200. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, there's this guy, the Input Club Night Fox, that's set to retail for $189. And check this out. It's plain, simple, very compact, that's for sure when compared to the K95, but it's still a keyboard that's targeted towards a completely different demographic. You may recall my review of the White Fox a while back, and I absolutely loved it because of its compact nature, the build, and the seamless integration with my setup. But most importantly, I felt like I was being part of an enthusiast community. Just so you're aware, you can pre-order both the Night Fox and the White Fox from the Kono store that's directly managed by Input Club. Expected shipping date on these models are set to February 18th of 2018, uh, and you can check out my uh, full review of the White Fox if you're interested right over here. But today we're going to be talking about the Night Fox and see what it brings to the table when you compare it to the White Fox, which in all honesty isn't that different, but we'll get into it. But first, a quick message from our sponsor. So it was kind of a love at first sight, you know? There's really nothing like this exterior. I love the metallic color, the tinted glass panel, the RGB fans at the front. It's basically a see-through case and who doesn't love that? Your graphics card can go vertical, the top is radiator friendly, and the right side is so unique when exposed thanks to these cable covers. So you can show off everything you've got with the H500P by Cooler Master. Check it out in the description below. All right, so from a design perspective, there's not a lot to talk about here since it resembles the White Fox. This guy features dark black primary keycaps and red color accents that contains just a hint of orange, but my sample was a bit brighter and from my conversations with Input Club, they're working very hard to achieve that strong red accent with the production models so that it can complement the rest of the keyboard. As for the layout, you'll be missing out on dedicated function keys and the numpad is totally out of question, uh, but you can program commands to the keys through software and we'll talk about that shortly. The build quality is absolutely top notch. I have nothing more to add from what I said in my White Fox review. The main chassis is constructed out of CNC anodized aluminum and the keys are PBT die sublimated for the best longevity. Plus it resists fingerprints and grease really well unlike some other plastic keycaps I've encountered on some other mechanical keyboards. Honestly, you're paying $189 for the premium materials that complete the Night Fox. The paint job takes time and labor eventually adds cost. So please do keep that in mind before even considering this. Now don't expect things like RGB lighting with the Night Fox, it's just not gonna happen. In fact, out of the box, you won't find LED backlighting whatsoever. The black text on the dark keycaps makes it extremely difficult to distinguish certain keys in darker environments. Uh, but on the other hand, the lighter keycaps on the White Fox reflects the ambient lighting from sources like the monitor or a table lamp, which makes the letters more legible to the eye. So LED lighting isn't completely necessary for the White Fox, but the Night Fox certainly needs it. Now, I was told by Input Club that existing owners of the Night Fox and the White Fox would be able to purchase an LED lighting kit for 10 to $15, but that involves soldering. So if you're comfortable with that, uh, you obviously do have the option to add lighting. Um, they are working with a few LED options like red and white to see which one would perfectly complement the color scheme of the Night Fox. Uh, and yes, you'll have the option in the website later on uh, where users will be able to purchase this keyboard that comes with backlighting out of the box. The cable is detachable and braided. My sample uses the standard micro USB connector, but the production model will come with a type C USB connector. So kudos to Input Club for that. The attention to detail on this cable is just staggering. I don't think I've ever come across a USB cable that has instantly given me that wow factor. It complements the black and gray color scheme really well. I didn't experience any kink formation, plus it's not as thick as Corsair's offering, but I wish that the cable was a bit longer, especially if it's being routed uh, to the rear IO of your PC. The Night Fox comes with Input Club's newly designed Heiko True Mechanical Switches. These are using a box switch architecture from Kaiwa that's totally different from Cherry MX. 
The company claims that they're structurally superior to Cherry Style, meaning they've redesigned the slider that results in less wobble with every keystroke, and they've expected it to last a lot longer. Now, my prototype sample didn't come with these switches built in because Input Club was still in the process of developing Heiko. So unfortunately, I won't be able to give you guys my full verdict on these switches, but from a specs point of view, they are linear and feature 1.95 millimeters of actuation, overall travel distance of 3.6 millimeters with about 55 grams of actuation force, and they support LED styles that are SMD or through hole, so the end user can actually add their own flavor of LED lighting as long as it meets the specification. Now do note that the White Fox can be pre-ordered with a variety of switch configurations, including Heiko True, Heiko Clear, which features lighter tactile actuations than Heiko True. There's also Cherry MX Clear and some more options Options from Kiowa. The Night Fox only ships with uh, Heiko True, so do keep that in mind. All right, so the White Fox and the Night Fox are plug and play keyboards. So technically, it doesn't require a driver software to operate. But if you intend to add shortcuts to keys, like adding media playback buttons, function keys, etc., you're going to have to do that manually by downloading a few programs, and I'll link them in the description. Essentially, you would have to go through the exact same process of reinstalling drivers through Zadig, configuring the layout online or through a dedicated software, and then flashing the keyboard using the DFU utility. It's definitely not as user-friendly as some other mechanical keyboards that I've encountered in the past, uh, so please do take that in mind before even considering uh, pulling the trigger on one of these guys. I also want to quickly mention that uh, my experience programming the layout on the prototype sample of the Night Fox was definitely challenging. Uh, so just to quickly sum it up, uh, I went through the same exact process as configuring the White Fox with this guy, but uh, the PCB for some reason wasn't able to, or the driver software was not able to identify the PCB, and there were some quirks with just trying to flash uh, the preferred layout of my choice on this guy didn't really work out, so I had to obviously get in touch with the Input Club. I had to go through like three hours of troubleshooting to actually finally make it work. Uh, and so, like I said, I've been working with the prototype sample. I'm sure that the production samples won't have a problem. And of course, they do have a full manual uh, on their GitHub forums, so you can definitely check that out. And I'll leave a link to that in the description uh, if you want to take advantage of that step-by-step -step procedure. Well, there you guys have it. Night Fox from Input Club. It certainly is an interesting and unique keyboard in the market because for one, uh, it's it costs $180, which is super expensive for a keyboard. And when you compare that to something like the K95 from Corsair or even the Logitech G Pro, which is just uh, $20 or $30 cheaper than this guy, uh, I think you're getting a lot of features with both of those keyboards, like the K95 and the G Pro, than this. So this is certainly targeted towards a certain type of audience, someone who's just desiring a simple stealth looking keyboard that just uh, looks cool with their setup and of course the build quality because these keycaps are super expensive. They're PDT die sublimated, so it's really durable. And of course the aluminum unibody chassis and just the way how it looks, I think uh, it's quite unique. So I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts on the Night Fox from Input Club. Uh, I certainly have to uh, wait for the full production sample to test out the new Heiko switches and how they play out well when compared to the MX Cherry offerings. So definitely leave your thoughts on this guy. I'm Ebert with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.